So here I am halfway across the world in an agricultural field in Slovakia uh, visiting some family and you can see here is uh, a field of corn that's been planted. Look how white this dirt is. It's almost like desert sand. Um, you know, good soil should be black and loose. Look how hard this is. It's hard as a rock. See, I can't even break it with my shoe. This is the problem with conventional agriculture. It just depletes the soil. This soil, good soil, should be rich, moist, and be like chocolate cake. This is a rock. And they're planting corn. And you know, this corn, it's growing, but it's only because they're giving it supplemental IVs of um, fertilizers, you know, artificial fertilizers. Nothing, no, if you drop the seed on here, it would not grow because we till it. We till it releases all the good stuff, all the oxygen, all the carbon, or all the car uh, carbon gets oxidized. Look here, look at this, I just broke a little bit. It's, I mean, it's like dust, all right? That is not good soil. There's nothing living in there. There's no microbes. And that's why we can't keep doing this. The topsoil is completely depleted from this field. Um, all the organic matter has been oxidized. Topsoil has been removed, which means all the life, all the microbes is out of this soil. In a tablespoon of soil, there are more microbes. There's several billion microbes, almost as many as there are in a tablespoon of soil, almost as many living things as there are people on the planet of Earth. And so when we do this, when we till and we use artificial um, chemicals, herbicides, pesticides, we use heavy fertilizer application just to get something to grow, because nothing would grow in this unless we feed it all kinds of fertilizer. Um, we're just killing the soil, we're killing the life. All that carbon's going back into the atmosphere as CO2. Um, and this is not sustainable. This soil is depleted. And then what? Then what? When this is all depleted and you can't grow anything, no matter how much fertilizer you dump on it, what happens when you can't grow anything anymore? You move on to the next patch, right? We deplete that. And this is not sustainable agriculture. This is conventional agriculture we've done for millions of years. We till the soil, which disrupts the biology, disrupts the life, and we kill it. And even if you're, even if you're a plant eater and you say, hey, I'm gonna eat corn, I'm gonna eat soy, I'm gonna eat wheat, I'm gonna eat grains, whatever, this is what you're eating. And this is the kind of agriculture you're supporting. We raise livestock. I raise primarily pasture poultry. We do some pork production. And yes, you may say, oh, you know, animals are bad for the environment. But look at this. This is vegetable production. This is corn and wheat and soy. And everything that we do with tractors is done the same way. This is not regenerative. This is not sustainable. This is destroying the land. This is degenerative. We need to be regenerative farm, which is what we do. We may be raising meat and people think uh, not eating meat is the healthy, you know, environmentally friendly, ethical way. But no, if you eat meat and you support a farm that's regenerative, we're actually increasing soil biology, increasing soil life, increasing topsoil, making the soil better, adding carbon to the soil, pulling it from the atmosphere and putting it to the soil and producing good, healthy food and making the land, the soil and the environment better than we found it. That's a regenerative farm. And that's the farm you should support. It's not a matter of plants versus meat should be a matter of what are we doing to the environment what are we doing to the soil what are we doing to the agricultural system what are we doing to the people what are we doing to ourselves our food our health that's what it's about and that's why what we do on our farm vital mission farm we do it a different way we try to make things better than we found it